Hello my mathematicians, today we are looking at module 15, lesson 6, which is all about solving problems using a bar model. Hopefully by the end of the lesson you'll be able to use a bar model to solve a multi-step problem that uses multiplication. So the first problem states the table shows the mass in grams of two different balls. What is the combined mass of two baseballs and three softballs? Use the bar graph to represent the problem. So draw a bar graph that shows the mass of two baseballs. So two baseballs, the graph would look like this. And you would have 141 and 75 hundreds, 141 and 75 hundreds. And this would equal the mass of two baseballs. So then it would it says what is the mass of two baseballs? So we can add those together or we can multiply. So one forty one and seventy five hundreds times two. We had ten. Two times seven is fourteen plus one is fifteen. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 1 is 2, and then we have 2 place values, 2 place values. So we get 283 and 5 tenths grams. So it says draw a bar model that shows the mass of 3 softballs. So we have 198 and 45 hundredths, 198 and 45 hundredths, 198 and 45 hundredths. This is the mass of three softballs. So we multiply 198 and 45 hundredths times three, so we get 15. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 1 is 25. 3 times 9 is 27, plus 2 is 29. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. We're going to place values. So we're going to get 595 and 3,500 grams. Then it says, now I'll draw a bar model to show the combined mass. So we're gonna have So one ninety eight and forty five hundred, so one ninety eight forty five hundred, one ninety eight forty five hundred, and one forty one seventy five, one forty one seventy five. And this is the mass of two baseballs. and three softballs. So then we have to add our two numbers together. So we're gonna have 595 and 35 plus 283 and 5 tenths. I'm gonna add a zero that make it a little easier. So five plus zero is five. 3 plus 5 is 8, my decimal point, 5 plus 3 is 8, 9 plus 8 is 17, 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So we get 878 and 8500 gram. So 
the next problem says Shamir goes to the sporting goods store. He buys three cans of tennis balls. Each costs three dollars and eighty-seven cents. Shamir pays for his purchase with a twenty-dollar bill. How much change should the sales clerk give him? Use a bar model to represent the problem. This is draw the bar model that shows the cost of three cans of tennis balls and label each bar. So we have three dollars and eighty seven cents, three dollars and eighty seven cents, three dollars and eighty seven cents. So the cost of three cans of tennis balls. And this is what is the cost of the three cans? Well, three and eighty seven hundredths times three three times seven is 21 three times eight is 24 plus two is 26 and three times three is nine plus two is 11. so eleven dollars and 61 cents and it says draw a bar model that compares the cost of the three cans to the tennis balls to the twenty dollars so we're going to say this is the $20. And this would be the change. So how much change should the sales clerk give to Shamir? Explain how you know. Well, we are going to subtract. So we're going to do $20 minus the eleven sixty one. So we have to borrow. So all of these are going to be 9. This is going to be 10. So 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 1 is 8. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we're going to get $8.39 back. Simply I subtract it. Eleven sixty one from twenty dollars, and that is all for today's lesson. Hopefully, you are not able to use a bar model to solve a multi step problem that uses multiplication. And remember, in order to be a math person, all you have to be is a person and do math.